Welcome back to our dice poker game. And we just have one last thing to do, and that is to determine the winner of each round from um, the hand values. So if the hand values are the same, in other words, they both got a one, then if we look at the hand value method, then if each person got a one, then they tied with one pair. If one got a hand value of five, that means they got four of a kind, and one value person got a hand value of two, they got two pairs. So the person with the higher hand value of five would win the game. So this is just a simple conditional. So I'm going to go ahead and um, we'll make a variable called winner. Well, let's just uh, use a simple conditional to do this. So if the hand value so we, we're using um, the C hand value and the P hand value. So if the C hand value is equal to, and we can use double equals because they're numbers instead of dot equals, which is for strings. So we can say if C hand value is equal to P hand value, then we can print out Um, it was a tie this round. Else if the C hand value is um, greater than the P hand value, then we can print out that the computer won this round. Computer won this round. And then we want to go and um, do int c. Um, we'll have to create a variable for the round count. So computer c round. plus plus and then else if the p hand value is greater than the c hand value then we'll print out system dot out dot print ln uh, the player won this round. And we'll count up P rounds. So let's go up to the top and make to where we instantiate our other variables and make two more for int P rounds. Oh, actually, we can use, um, let's just use these two variables because we haven't used them. So we're going to use P wins and C wins. So let's go down here and we'll do C wins and P wins. And so let's go ahead and compile and test that before we go on and compare who won. So we have missing a semicolon. And we'll go ahead and run it. Yes. We'll play three rounds. And we just need to print out the no still need to print out the number of P wins and C wins. So let's do system.out.println computer wins plus C wins and system dot out dot print ln player wins plus p wins and these do have to be outside of our for loop otherwise um, they'll print out each time so we want to make sure they're at the same level.
and they're outside our for loop, which starts right here. Okay, so let's compile. And we'll go ahead and run it. And so the computer got zero wins and the player got three wins according to this round. And so now we just, let's go take a look to make sure that that's actually true. So the computer, we got three twos and one two, two ones, which is a full house. The player hand got one pair of two fours. So the computer, the player got the high in that one player value is higher than the computer value, so player one. So we got a mistake there somewhere we need to look at. And then we've got three fives and we've got, doesn't look like we have anything in that round. So the computer got three fives and player got one. So it looks like in all these rounds there's another case where the player hand is higher than the computer hand. So we've got a mistake there. So the player is winning again. Again, now we've got three fours versus two twos. And so again the player got the higher hand and it should be the computer got the higher hand. And so therefore we've got um, the player, sh the computer should have got actually gotten three wins, and the player should have gotten zero wins. So where our mistake is is down here in step three, where we're determining the hand value. Notice that I've got int c hand value, but then I'm calling it on p hand. So I'm just going to change this to a c, and then down here where I have p hand value, this needs to be a p for the object for the player's hand. And now that should fix our problem. And so let's run it again with three rounds. And now we can see that in the first hand we have two threes and three twos, so we and two sixes, so we have two pair in a full house. And then, so the hand value for the two pairs is two, and the player hand is four, so the player should count up one, and it does. And then in the next hand, we've got one pair for the computer, which is a pair of twos, and we have um, nothing for the player hand, because it's a three, five, four, six, two, so it's not even a straight. Um, you could program it where if it was actually in order of a straight you you won which would be higher than five of a kind I believe um, so the computer got one point for that so now we're tied in the next hand we have three ones and a pair of threes so we have a hand value of three and one so the computer won around and now the computer wins or two and the player wins one so now we just need to add a conditional that says that if C wins is equal to P wins, then we're going to print out um, system.out ln it was a tie. Else, if C wins is greater than P wins, then we're going to print out the computer one. Computer one this time. We don't know how many rounds we're going to play. And then else if P wins or greater than C wins, 
then system.out.print ln player wins this time. Let's just put in a comment here. Pairs player. There's number of player wins with computer wins. And remember, this has to be outside our for loop. This section here has to be outside of our for loop because we only want it to compare at the end after we've gone through every round that they want to play. You could actually put this into a method and then call it after words. Right, let's, oh, we need a double equal there. Let's run it one more time to see if it works the way we want it to. And you can see the computer got one round and the player got one round and therefore it was a tie. And we should test this to make sure that we get each result. So let's run it again. And this time the player won. Let's try to test it one more time to see if we can get the computer to win. Nope, the player won again. Anyway, you can continue testing until you get and to make sure each the computer and the player can win and also that there's a tie. And I would challenge you to go back and maybe add more players. Um, typically in a poker game you might have um, five players. Also you could add things like um, you could um, allow the person to draw up to three die, in other words roll three up to three die again to see if they got a better hand. And so there's a lot of ways you can expand on this project. I'll see you in another video. Have a good day. Bye.